Hi, I'm Tyler Weinberger with Shadowcaster, and today we'll be talking about setting up your new ShadowNet application to control your boat's lighting through your multifunction display. The ShadowNet app is available by connecting the lighting commander to the network port of a compatible Navico, Garmin, Furuno, or Raymarine. If you are looking for more information on how to install the lighting commander or additional product information, please visit our website at www.shadow-caster.com or click the link below. Once you have the light commander connected and the system powered up, our SCNet icon will appear on your MFD home screen. Select the icon to open the application and the system will walk you through an onboarding process. First, select the brand of display you are connected to. This will tell the system which MFD you are working with and make the initial startup process easier for you. Next, select the number of lighting zones you're running in your setup. For our demonstration today, we'll be using six zones. Next, you will then be taken to the zone configuration menu. In this menu, you can rename each of the zones. For today's demonstration, this is how we're gonna be naming our zones. Zone one, we're calling Gunnels. Zone two, Baitwell. Zone three, Courtesy. Zone four is Hardtop. Zone five is a Spreader. And zone six, we'll call Underwater. You can then click the right arrow to take you back to the home screen. Next, we can select the menu and identify and assign each of the lights to a specific zone. The identify function will cause the lights to flash so that you can easily assign them to their specific zone. Once all the lights are assigned to the preferred zones, we can then return to the home page. On the home page, we can select the color and intensity of each of the zones. From the home page, we can also set up and save a scene. For this demonstration, we will set up the gunnel lights to a dim red, Baitwell lights to off, spreader lights to a white at half intensity, hardtop to off, and our underwater lights to one of the various built-in programs. The controller has several built-in lighting programs for full customization. The strobe program will allow you to strobe the lights at different rates, brightnesses, and different colors. The multicolor program will rotate through different color options with settings to adjust the speed of the color changes and the brightness levels. The fade program will fade the brightness up and down on a single color. And last but not least, our Music Sync program. Music Sync has four different available modes. In single color mode, you can select single color and the brightness will change with the amplitude of the music. Multicolor mode will rotate through different colors you choose and the brightness will follow the amplitude of the music. In fall off mode, the brightness will dim with the amplitude of the music and our favorite is frequency mode. This splits the colors and brightnesses depending on the lows, mids, and highs of whatever you're listening to. For the best music sync experience, you will need to adjust the program sensitivity to match the output level coming from your marine stereo head unit or amplifier. Typically, you'll want to have the sample rate setting close to the maximum for the best effect. For this demonstration, we'll keep it simple and set the underwater lights to our multicolor rotate program to have them slowly rotate through the color spectrum. Now that all the zones are adjusted to their desired setting, we can save the scene and name it to easily recall that scene for future use. In this example, we'll name the scene Night Cruise. You can follow these steps again to create another scene of your choice. The controller allows you to save an unlimited amount of scenes for endless options. In the corner of the home page, you will also find some other options and settings located under the config menu. You can go in and identify devices, you can change the name of zones. You can set a default power on or startup scene under other options. This will set a default startup scene to initiate when you power up the controller or when you start the ShadowNet application. Finally, there is an option for a factory reset if you'd like to restore back to the default settings. We're glad you've chosen to use Shadowcaster to bring out the best of your time on the water. Please feel free to visit our website for more information or reach out to us with questions at info at shadow-caster.com.